In the past century, this world has seen a gigantic shift from what was to what is. Over the past 40 years, Earth's temperature has risen by 0.18 degrees Celsius per decade and the year 2020 was the second warmest year on record. The water levels continue to rise at the rate of 3.4 mm per year, along with CO2 at its peak of 412.5 ppm in 2021. Navi Mumbai, a satellite city for Mumbai, envisages the planning and development of various nodes and townships. Each nodal settlement is divided into 36 sectors, out of which 15 are marked residential, with others being commercial and some being under development. In the past few years, Navi Mumbai has seen a large influx of funding for development. Located in Sector 34B of Khargar, Navi Mumbai, the site with an area of 3,401.31 square meters is neighboured by Taloja. Abutting the main road and in close proximity to the metro line, the site is susceptible to traffic noise. The open ground to the west is to be leased by the project partner in the future as a playground. Partnering up with SVKM, our team envisions a school that will provide holistic education to students from pre-primary to higher secondary classes while also creating a cohesive and energy efficient building. From a mass equal to the permissible ground coverage, a void was created for the courtyard allowing for natural ventilation and stack effect. Keeping the natural flow of wind at site in mind, strategic voids were placed at opposite corners of the masses. The service cores have been shifted to the northwest and southeast to allow for unhindered connectivity, both physical and visual. To battle solar heat gain, the south and west facing classrooms were shifted inwards with the corridors towards the external facade. The school aims to go beyond the curriculum to include the students as well as the community to inculcate soft skills such as urban farming, recycling as well as environmental awareness. The school was designed such that it efficiently catered to the needs of the institution while allowing the students to experience a sense of belongingness. A mixed mode structure with reduction through meticulous material selection and right sizing helped achieve an EPI of 27.4. Efficient plumbing fixtures and irrigation methods, rainwater harvesting and on-site treatment helped achieve a water demand of 18.3 LPCD. Open collaborative spaces in the form of breakout spaces and the central courtyard were provided to allow and facilitate interaction and co-learning. Solar panels added on the terrace area have the potential to match the energy consumption of the building. Thus, what was achieved was a cohesive, energy-efficient building that provided students with a comprehensive and informed education, because ultimately, net zero is a stepping stone in the journey of human evolution.